The Rancho Fire is now 700 acres and 30% contained. Action News Network reporter Jafet Serrato was out near the fire today and breaks down how fire crews are battling those flames. Strong overnight winds caused the Rancho Fire to leave behind black fields, white ash, small embers, and burned trees. Cal Fire working overnight to contain the flames. You can see firefighters taking a break from that shift. Winds tapered down, allowing crews to increase containment. There's no question. They threw everything at it. They had their, their, their prop planes up and retarding. Helicopters also helped in the aerial attack. Sherman Lee lives in Rancho Tehama and is also a volunteer firefighter. We have radios amongst ourselves. Like last night, mate, I was directing traffic and closing the road. That road, Rancho Tehama Road, the initial spot of the flames. Firefighters only needed one lane this time to put out some spot fires. Behind me is one of the 10 structures destroyed by the Rancho Fire. As I step behind the camera, we should let you know that we're off Rancho Tehama Road. And as I zoom in, you can see that the structure is burnt to the ground alongside some burnt vehicles. But firefighters did a great job saving the home to the left of it. Lee did not evacuate because he says the flames were burning away from his home. The majority of our community is not is not going to be affected. But he knows very well the dangers of living in such a rural area. There's two, over 2,000 lots in Ranch Tehama, but a lot of them can't be developed. So they're just covered in brush. You know, the fuel is there. As long as the fire danger is there, Lee will be in Ranch of Tehama to help firefighters. Jafet Serrato, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Cal Fire tells us today's focus is putting containment line around the fire with dozers and hand crews getting hose lines around the fire. The 2020 census states that just over 1,000 people live in Rancho Tehama.